probably pretty excited. We're going to see the boat pretty much the way it's going to look, uh, minus the gunnels and the seats, of course. Uh, but before we start, I just suggest that you make sure that everything's cleaned up. Don't get a lot of dust in the air. Hopefully you've taken care of that already. And uh, just use a, a tack cloth and just very lightly go over the surface, okay? Tack cloth has uh, oils, you know, or it feels like waxy buildup that the dust clings to. Uh, so you don't want to press on the boat because that uh, residue could go into the wood and mess up your your fine work, but uh, just lightly just sweep over the surface and that'll pick up any loose dust that could be on the boat, okay? So just take care of that first and then we'll mix up some epoxy and, and get going. Now that your canoe is as dust free as you're likely going to get it, we're going to apply our first coat of epoxy. The purpose of the first coat of epoxy is to seal up the wood, and this is going to reduce the amount of bubbles that form when we lay up the cloth. Okay, so I use West System epoxy, all right, it's a 105 resin, and I use the 207 special hardener. Okay, the 207 finishes clear, so uh, it doesn't have as much of an amber color, it, it just finishes clear. Uh, so that's what I'm using, and I use the, the calibrator pump, makes it very easy. Uh, also, I'll be using a, a mixing cup. I just use a scrap piece of cedar strip for a stir stick, and a brush, and a squeegee. Okay, this is a West System squeegee as well. Okay, so you can get this uh, at the same place that you buy your West System epoxy. As far as the brush goes, uh, any width will do. I'm using a four inch brush. It's about half the width of the squeegee. And uh, what I've done is I've trimmed down the bristles so that it's just a uh, firm, right? Because uh, epoxy is so thick, it's not like paint where we can, you know, just paint it on. So we're gonna be more pushing the epoxy, all right? So, this just firms it up more, makes it easier. Okay, so I've got my safety glasses on because I don't want epoxy to splash or spray up into my face. I also have uh, latex gloves. I can't wear latex, wear vinyl, uh, and they're doubled up, okay? I always double my gloves up because you don't know the outer one could rip or for some reason I might have to take one off and it just saves me from uh, having to, you know, go get a glove uh, because I always have another one underneath and also just, you know, double barrier so that I don't get the stuff on my hands. All right, so with the West System Epoxy, we have our calibration pumps and just like the name implies, they're pre-calibrated so it makes mixing the West System Epoxy very easy. All right, it's as simple as one pump for the resin. Make sure you have a full pump so it bottoms out every time, and one pump of the hardener. And then you can do that as many times as you want, depending on how much you want in your pot. Now I'm gonna suggest that you do either three or four pumps at a time, and it's going to depend on how warm it is in your pot life. So check with the uh, West System user guide. Uh, for my temperature right now, I should be able to get away with four pumps easily. And so that's what I'm going to work with. Now, this does help right now if you have someone else doing the mixing of the epoxy. But uh, for the filler coat, which we're doing, it, uh, you know, it's definitely something that you can do on your own because we're not going to be trying to fill the cloth as well. So, so now we just want to make sure that we stir it up really good. All right. At first it might go kind of cloudy, and then that cloudiness will go away as you stir. 
make sure you work up on the sides of the, the mixing cup or the pot. All right. What I do is I'll turn my cup on its edge a little and then flat again as well. You want to make sure that this is very well mixed. Okay, so make sure you have any tools that you're going to need nice and handy. So what that might be is your squeegee and your brush. Okay, and again, make sure you have your safety glasses on, have gloves, vinyl or latex gloves on, and an organic respirator. Something else that you might want to think about is laying down some kind of tarp or plastic or even pieces of cardboard around the edges of your canoe. And also if you have an old pair of shoes, probably now's the time to put them on, same as old pants or, or what have you. Uh, you know, it's, if you've ever painted, you know, you'll try as hard as you can, but there's going to be one drop that gets you, okay? So, so this is just about ready, and I'm going to start applying it. When you start, just simply work in sections and work your way through. Uh, use the tool that works best, and remember that epoxy cures faster when it's thicker, all right, so when it's in the cup, it'll cure faster, and what you'll first start to see is that it starts to gum up, okay, um, so if you think that you've lost some time and you're not sure about the pot life, uh, one option is to actually pour it out onto the canoe, uh, because then it'll be thinner and spread out, and then you can, you know, work quickly to, to spread it out all over. Continue and apply this first coat of epoxy. 